Hello everyone, this is Mohit Sharma. Today we are going to learn the construction of a DC machine. We already discussed what is DC generator, its principle and working of DC generator in lecture first. So if you do not subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe my channel for my next videos. Here we discuss the following parts. The very first part is yoke. The outermost part of the DC machine is yoke. Armature core. It is a cylindrical drum-like structure punched in a slots on the peripheral. Poles. It has the heteropolar structures having alternate north and south poles. Commutator. Is a split rig made up of hard drawn copper material. Brushes. Brushes offers electrical connection between commutator and loads. Armature conductors. These are the windings placed on the slots of the armature core. Now let us discuss each and every part of a machine briefly. First, we the outermost part of a machine is yoke. It acts as protective covering to the entire machine. It supports the poles as the poles are directly riveted to it. It provides a path for flux. If the, if the flux per pole is phi, the flux passing through the yoke is phi by 2. Therefore, yoke should be of good magnetic materials. For small machines, we used a cast iron yoke. And for a large machines, we use a fabricated steel cores. Poles. It has heteropolar structures and having alternate north pole and south pole. The function of pole is to produce working flux in the machine. The basic source of flux is a permanent magnet which is uncontrollable in nature. In order to control the machine, flux needs to be controllable. Therefore, electromagnets are preferred which requires windings and a DC voltage known as excitation. Excitation is essentially a DC because it produced a fixed flux and a pulse. The pulse is spread out as pole shoes in order to reduce the reluctance in the air gap and to spread flux uniformly on the armature conductor. Poles are made up of steel laminations in order to reduce eddy current losses when the flux is not ideally DC. Next is armature core is a cylindrical drum like structure punched in the slots on the peripheral. The armature winding is placed in the slots with suitable insulation. It should be of suitable superior magnetic material as all the electromechanical energy conversion is happen in this rotating part of a machine. Silicone is used as it has superior magnetic properties. Due to the high conductivity, it will produce eddy current. Therefore, solid cores are not preferred but the cores with the thin lamination of 0.4 to 1 mm thickness is preferred. 3.5 to 4% silicone is added to steel which reduces the losses occurring in the core known as iron losses. Next is commutation. Commutator. Commutator is a split ring which is segmented through a 0.8 mm thickness mica insulation. The segments are made up of hard drawn copper material. It is it converts bidirectional current or EMF inside the coil into the unidirectional. It represents the image of armature winding inside. The number of a commutator segments are equal to the number of a coils. Next is brushes. Brushes. Brushes offers electrical connection between rotating commutator and the stationary load. It collects current from the winding placed on the commutator through a brush holders and the spring. These are stationary sliding contacts. If the brushes collect current without any sparking then the commutation is successful. Otherwise it is unsuccessful. Any spark will be spread into the two or the three segments of segments and short circuit the coil inside and produces a large current in order to ensure successful commutation mechanical as well as electrical conditions should be proper in order to ensure good mechanical conditions the brushes is placed in a brush holders and placed on a 
commutator through springs in order to ensure good electrical conditions the brushes should be always placed on the mna that is magnetic neutral axis or the neutral zone the brushes material used are carbon electrographite and copper generally carbon brushes are used to improve commutation next is shaft and bearings the purpose of the shaft is to provide mechanical input when the machine operate as generator to collect current and mechanical power when the same machine operate as motor shaft is hold through bearings which offers rotation for large machine roller bearings and for small machines ball bearing is used thank you everyone If you like my videos and for more videos please subscribe to my channel Electroblast 999